What's the crack, lads and ladies around the feckin' world? My name is DV Geek and welcome back to another video. Lads, I've got something special for you all today. Now, as you know, we've been entering the realms of Nintendo for the last few months and I've been having an absolute blast playing the likes of the Legend of Zelda series, Super Smash Bros and other games that I can't wait to sink my teeth in. Now there is one title that seems to be a common thread in the section of the comments and on Twitter and people reaching out to me on Instagram but a lot of people have been reaching out to me and asking me about a certain franchise that they're very passionate about and they love and they want me to check out some things and they want me to to see this for myself and they want to see my reactions to some things that this franchise has to offer now some people have reached out to me others have gone above and beyond and actually made a list of things for me so that's what we're going to be going through today but the content that i'm talking about today the franchise the nintendo franchise that we're talking about today is of course fire emblem now i have no idea what this game is or what it's about or what contents it actually has i know from the cover art it seems like it's kind of anime-esque but i don't know this is obviously a game that's very popular because many people talk about it now some of my close friends are huge fire emblem fans and i never understood why because i never actually looked into it or done any research on it so why not as i like to do is experience this not just by myself but with all of you lads and ladies at home so today we're going to be checking out every single trailer for the Fire Emblem franchise. So if you're a Fire Emblem fan and this gets you excited, please leave a like on the video. We're gonna go for a like goal of something like, I don't know, 3,000 likes. I think that'd be pretty cool if we can reach that goal. And if you want to see Fire Emblem make its way onto the channel sometime this year, then let me know by subscribing to the channel and commenting down below. Now, that being said, we are covering a lot of different titles at this current moment and with the 35th anniversary, of the Legend of Zelda series just around the corner. I don't want to put too much on my plate, but I said for the people that have been reaching out to me and the people that have gone above and beyond to make a list and stuff for me, this is for you guys and this is my gift to you. And, you know, obviously I want to cater to you all and make sure that I put out the content that you want to see. And Fire Emblem may not appear on the channel for quite some time, but it is something that I can add to the list of games that I do have planned to play this year. So, I have been reached out on Discord, somebody actually done a whole list for me, and that's what we're going to be checking out today. So lads, if you haven't already, absolutely demolish the like button and subscribe to the channel, because we are going to check out every single trailer for the Fire Emblem franchise. Here we go. So before we go any further, I want to say a huge shout out to N725, who reached out to me on Discord. He's actually a $15 Patreon as well. And he reached out to me and he said he wanted me to check out one of his beloved series. And that was, of course, the Fire Emblem franchise. And naturally, I said, eventually I will, I'll get to it. But he went above and beyond and actually created a whole list of trailers for me to check out, including like spin-offs and crossovers down here at the end, which is going to be really cool because I want to see what Fire Emblem characters are going to be in these trailers, for one, and what ones actually appear in like the likes of Super Smash Bros and other games like that. So a massive shout out again to N725, thank you for reaching out to me man, and thank you for supporting me, not just on Patreon or anywhere else, but also on like Discord and stuff like that, and if you guys want to reach out to me on Discord, you can, I'll leave a link down to the Discord so you guys can join that and have fun there with the community, but we're going to be checking out each and every one of these trailers, um, as you can see he's got some titles here, starting off with uh, Arcania and Valentia, Jugdral, Alibi, Vag Magvel, Tellius, Hashido and Nor, Zenith, Fodlan, and spin-offs and crossovers. So, I don't know what any of this means, but that's the purpose of this video. We're just going to have fun here today, so I hope you all enjoy this. So, let's check out the first trailer, which is Fire Emblem, Shadow Dragon, and Blade of Light. Here we go. Oh, this is an old advertisement. Nicom, Lord of Rings, 
シミュレーションゲームファイヤーエンブレム Alright, so that's an old school Japanese Fire Emblem ad. I can appreciate it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, that was cool. So obviously it's got like knights and stuff. So like I said, I have absolutely no clue what this franchise has to offer. Next one is Shadow Dragon and the Blade of Light 30th Anniversary trailer. Now this is obviously much more modern. Yep, Nintendo Switch. Wait, that's Smash Bros. That's why I don't use this guy. I mean, who is he anyway? Wait, you don't know Marth? What game is he even from? You don't know Fire Emblem? I don't know. What's that? That's actually a oh, common question. On. Who's Fire Marth? Fire Emblem? I think it came out in 1990. If you say so. Ugh, look. Marth? See? Fighting to take back his kingdom? Friends with Sita and Tiki? Tries to save the world from the Shadow Dragon? Sounds cool, but you're scaring me. Maybe this will help. Fire Emblem Japan only no more. Okay, here we go. I love the retro feels, lads. Get into it. This is hype. I love this. Whoa. Oh, Jesus. It goes way back, man. This is so retro. Marth embarks. So this is the original Fire Emblem. Oh, it's turn-based combat. I love turn-based games, so... This could be something I can get into. Cool. It's super old school, I love it. This would be something that I think I'd quite enjoy on my Switch. So Shadow Dragon and the Blade of Light. That's the full official title of the game back in the day, I assume. And this is the anniversary edition, so it's in English. So it originally came out in Japan and was fully Japanese. That's why a lot of people overseas were unfamiliar with the characters and the franchise and stuff. But now that it's over overseas and stuff, you can enjoy the experience from the very beginning in English, which is fantastic. And I love this art. Love this art. This is the kind of old school. Let me just move my, my face out of the way there so you guys can see. This is the kind of old school um, anime art that I love. I think this is fantastic. I love this. I really love this. It gets me all nostalgic and warm inside. Okay, so that was the 30th anniversary trailer. Next thing is the Fire Emblem Gaiden Japanese commercial. Let's have a look at this. Oh, it's like live action. There's that music again. Fire Emblem Gaiden. Gaiden. Sorry, I said Gaiden. Gaiden. Cool. That sounds cool. The old school Japanese commercials always get me all like excited. I love them. Uh, now we have Fire Emblem Mystery of the Emblem Japanese commercial. Let's have a look at this. Fire Emblem. Super Nintendo. Or Super Famicom. That's a pretty cool ad. That book. That book looked cool. 
These Japanese commercials, man, I love them. All right, so Fire Emblem Shadow Trailer. Shadow Dragon Trailer, excuse me. Let's see what this is. This is a good three minute long, so it's our longest trailer yet. Oh, is this on the DS? Then use your mage to execute a long range attack. Once the enemy's formation has collapsed, attack swiftly with your cavalier. Which unit should attack? Which should defend? Follow the story of Prince Marth as he defends his country. And Prince Marth. To the continent in Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon. Okay. Seize your enemy's stronghold. Your goal is to seize your enemy's stronghold. Move your piece into position and battle the enemy. Move. Battle. Move. Or just wait and hold your position. Once you've finished your movements, it's the enemy's turn. Seize control of your enemy's stronghold to finish the map. Unit characteristics. Taking advantage of the skills and attacks of each unit is the key to victory. Knights move slowly, but can be positioned to shield allied soldiers from attack. Pegasus Knights are easily felled by archers, but they have a wide range of movement and are able to pass over mountains and rivers. Oh yeah, oh, okay, that's cool. Curates are unable to attack, but instead they can restore the health of nearby units. So you got healers as well, okay. Grow your army as you take in soldiers from neighboring countries, allies found along your journey, and former enemies who switch sides to join your cause. battle they earn experience increasing their level over the course of the campaign with experience some units will be able to use more powerful weapons or magic okay so as you level up you get stronger spells become more powerful bigger defense bigger attack So it's a strategic turn-based game. I quite like this. For the okay. first time in the Fire Emblem series, battle. battle over local wireless or Nintendo Wi-Fi connection. Choose up to five of the units you've trained in single-player mode to battle another player on maps created specifically for multiplayer battles. Cool. Fire Emblem. Shadow Dragon. It's old school as well. Uh, 2008, 2009, but it's not that long ago. But then again, when you think about it, it's still 11, 12 years ago, which is kind of crazy. No, I do genuinely, I like the the type of game it is. It is something that I know I probably would have really enjoyed when I was younger because I was really into the Final Fantasy turn-based style of games. And I still am. I like turn-based games. So this one in particular, I probably would have liked as well. Um, I guess it was because it wasn't as well known as, we'll say, Square Enix's Final Fantasy series. So why would I have picked up Fire Emblem and played it, you know? I guess it's just one of those things. You know when you're a kid, right? No, and I know this applies for a lot of people as well. You don't get too many options when it comes to what game you want to play. When you're an adult, you can buy whatever you want, play whatever you want, whatever. But when you're a kid... You're, you take what you're given. Well, that was me when I was a kid anyway. You take what you're given. And I was, was only given a certain amount of games that I could really sink my teeth into. Final Fantasy was one of those games on PlayStation that I managed to get. And I played it and I absolutely adored it. I loved it. And, and you know, till this day, I'm still a Final Fantasy fan. So I think if I was a kid and Fire Emblem was one of those games that was given to me as a gift or something, then I probably would be a hardcore Fire Emblem fan today. You know, it's just one of those things. It's just one of them things that I just never actually got into when I was younger and I never thought there was a need for me to get into it now. But hey, here I am watching the trailers. Anyway, so we're on Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon Japanese commercial. The Japanese commercials are only about 30 seconds long. 
守りの固い兵で敵を足止めし後ろから間接攻撃敵の陣形を崩したら牙で素早く攻め込む任天堂 d s ファイヤーエンブレム新暗黒竜と光の剣 Alright, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Alright, next one then is Fire Emblem, New Mystery of the Emblem, Heroes of Light and Shadow, Japanese commercial. Fire Emblem, do you know what I'm saying? I'm going to get a little bit of 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 a little bit それこそ CM もは見たことあるんですかないです。ファイヤーエンブレム、テーマはいじめ。<笑>ファイヤーエンブレム、新、紋章の。Okay. Alright. <laughs> I mean, I couldn't understand anything they were saying, but I got the song. I got the song part. Alright, so here's Fire Emblem Awakening. This is on the 3DS. So this is、um, more modern. More modern day. Okay, this, this trailer I like. Okay. Yeah, it's it's a hundred percent turn based. It's giving me Final Fantasy feels, which is great. Which one's Marth? Marth is the guy without the mask, yeah? Fire Emblem Awakening. What does it say? Two sleeping dragons, one sacred ally of mankind, the other its sworn destroyer. Two heroes marked with the symbols of the dragons. Their mating heralds the dragon's awakening and the world's ending. Hmm. I mean, I have to admit that trailer definitely sparked my interest about. Trying out these games.、Um, clearly, there's a lot of games, but here's another trailer、uh, Fire Emblem Awakening Accolades trailer. So let's check this out. I mean, the cutscenes are top tier, it seems. Lightening your brain with brilliance. Oh, okay. Now those two characters are teaming up. What is that supposed to be exactly? Even the overall look of the title is very Final Fantasy esque. Yeah, I'm really tempted to try this now. I'm really tempted to try this. Alright, so now as Fire Emblem echoes. 
Shadow of Valentia trailer. Let's check this out. This is a three minute long trailer as well. So. ね、どうしてドーマとミラの二人の神様が仲良くできなかったのかしら。僕たちはずっと仲良しでいようね。ごめんなさいって謝ったら許してね。Okay. The earth split, the seas parted, and the heavens themselves threatened to come tumbling down. The battle transcended any that history bad yet known had yet known. Excuse me. The Book of Valentinian Revelations, Chapter Fifteen. Oh look, that's the last. That's the two kids. They're not kids anymore, clearly. Duma and Mila. Chikara Nagai南部地方に生まれたソフィア王国。人々は神の徳Cool. I like the story. The story is definitely there. I like that. It's a really cool story. Anyway, let's keep going. Um, what I, I do have a question though. Are all the Fire Emblem games connected in some sort of way? I'm sure they are. Um, but there is there obviously is characters that may reoccur in certain games, but some of the games seem like they have totally different characters with totally different stories. But uh, here's Echoes of Sha Echo Shadows of Valentia commercial. Let's try this one. It's only 30 seconds. Probably Japanese as well, Warring is it? Warring gods tore a continent apart. To achieve peace, you must lead two armies to victory. All right, this is the two. New treacherous dungeons await exploration. In Fire Emblem Echoes, each choice you make in battle could mean life or death. Whoa. Fire Emblem Echoes, Shadows of Valentia, on Nintendo 3DS, rated T for teen. Cool. All right. So it's basically just a commercial. All right. So that concludes the Arcania and Valentia trailers. So now let's go into the Jug Drawl trailers. This is Fire Emblem uh, Genealogy of the Holy War, Japanese commercial. Okay, 
All right. <laughs> anyway, let's keep going. Uh, now, this is Fire Emblem Thrasia 776, Japanese commercial. Why are they all crying? Moving on. Okay, so that concludes the Jug Drawl trailers. Not entirely sure what I was looking at. But anyway, we're on Alibi. Or Ali Alibe? Alibe? Alibi? Don't know how to pronounce that name or word. Uh, Fire Emblem The Binding Blade Japanese commercial. Let's have a look at this. Game Boy Advance. <sighs> Okay, cool. Cool, let's keep going. Uh, now we're on Blazing Blade Japanese commercial. The other one was Binding Blade. This is Blazing Blade. Okay. Game Boy Advance. <laughs> Alright, I mean, I like the Japanese commercials, but sometimes I have no clue what is going on. Um, anyway, let's keep going. We're Blazing Blade commercial. Another one. Okay. The drums of war are beating. No man can be trusted. What happened to Dorka? I put poison in his mutton. <laughs> Build an army. Trust nobody. Fire Emblem. Only on Game Boy Advance. Rated everyone. Game Boy. That guy sounded Irish. I think he was. That's funny. All right, so Fire Emblem Blazing Blade E3 2003 trailer. Dragons are cool. Dragons are always cool though, right? So that's like an old school title of Fire Emblem as well. 2003, which is considered old school now. Um, cool stuff. That concludes the Eliba. Eliba or Eliba, I can't pronounce. Sorry, lads. All right, so now we're on Magvel. This is the Sacred Stones Japanese commercial. I love that sound. Okay. 
Cool. That was a pretty creative commercial. Now we're on the Sacred Stones normal commercial. This is probably the English one. On the Wii U? So you could actually get that on the eShop on the Wii U. I mean, it's it's definitely something that you can play, obviously, in your spare time when you're just relaxing and you want to just kind of, you know, not nothing that takes too much, too much time in your day. I mean, you can do a few fights when you're chilling on your couch or something. It's pretty cool. I like it. All right. So now we're on the Tellius trailers. This is Path of Radiance, Japanese commercial. There's a lot of Japanese commercials in this. Oh, look at this! Whoa, what the heck? It's a lion man! Nintendo GameCube Fire Emblem Soen no Kiseki Oh, that was on the GameCube. Awesome. Let's have a look at Fire Emblem Path of Radiance commercial. GameCube again. There's the Lion Man again. A land divided. That looks cool. Right, Path of Radiance E3 2005 trailer. that guy he's got his own dragon that's so cool okay all right all right so we're getting into the three-dimensional characters now uh, Radiant Dawn, Japanese commercial. On the Wii. Okay. Now Radiant Dawn E3 2007 trailer. Oh, look, aerial combat. Oh, 
I don't know who that is, but she's cool. It's funny how some of the trailers just abruptly end. Hmm. As we're getting good. Alright, so that concludes the Tellius trailers. Now we're on Hoshido and Nor. This is Fire Emblem Fates E3 2015 trailer. Okay, so this is far more recent. Let's see what this has to offer. Okay, now this is cool. You are my child. The hell? Now, once and for all, no more games to the death. Here I come. Oh, so this is a 3DS. Now pay for your betrayal. Don't look at me. Damn, dude. I mean, even if I don't play the games, I'd love to check out the in-scene, the in-game cutscenes and cinematics. This is pretty cool. Oh. What is that? Do it as yourself. Pokemon. Coming 2016. I like that. That trailer was really cool. It's getting more modern day now. You see. Now we have Fire Emblem Fates, Birthright, and Conquest trailer. Alright, this one's two minutes. Let's have a look at this. I'd hear that. Whose side will you choose? There it is again. You can only choose one path. The path of Hoshido or the path of Nor. Okay, so I'm guessing it's based on the decisions you make defines the outcome of the game. Which is cool, I like that whole idea um all right so we have one more trailer in this section this is fire emblem fates revelations trailer let's have a look at this the two to fight a common enemy.
Ooh. So it's obviously... So you have Conquest, Birthright. Two different ones there. I love the cover art for Fire Emblem. It's quite nice. Anyway, that concludes the Hoshido and Noor trailers. Now we're on the Zenith trailers. So this is Fire Emblem Heroes. This is the first trailer. This is more... Modern day now. Okay, so who are these two characters? Whoa, he's got a gun! Isn't that the dude from the Nor family? And who's she? I'm sure if you're a hardcore Fire Emblem fan, you're like freaking out over these characters. Fire Emblem Heroes. So it's is it taking heroes from different games and putting them all into one? Did I hit the nail on the head there? I'm not sure. Well, this is trailer two. This looks live action. This is live action. Okay. I hope it's a good one. You've given up. Oh, cool. Great cosplay. There's nothing you can do. Whoa, that's sick. But will you give in to fate? Oh shit. Choose your path. Read the signs. Trust in yourself. As best you can. Take control. The future is yours. It's a good live action trailer. It's very good. What will you do? Fire Emblem, Fire Emblem Heroes. Heroes. Wait, it's a mobile game? Was not expecting that. Alright, so now we're on Fodlan, I think. 
This is Fire Emblem Three Houses. I'm pretty sure this is the most recent Fire Emblem game, so this should be good. Let's have a look. This is the one a lot of people are talking about, and this is the reason why a lot of people are getting Long into ago, the Fire Zeros Emblem. Received a revelation from the goddess, a gift to help guide the lost. Now the goddess watches over Fodlan from her kingdom above, as the mother of all life, the arbiter of every soul. Give me orders. It's time to measure your worth as an instructor. Oh, I like that camera change. Such a brutal, irrational world we live in. Some believe the crests, tokens of the goddess's power, are necessary to maintain order. But they're wrong, teacher. The crests are to blame. Wait, you can actually walk around? And interact. Cool. Promise me that you won't forget me. Spring 2019. I like that. That was really cool. I like the whole um, idea of being able to actually traverse certain areas and interact with other characters and obviously triggering different missions and stuff. It's really cool. It's really, really cool. Okay. Um, now we're on the Three Houses E3 2019 trailer. Let's have a look at this. A promised reunion. Let's all agree to meet back at the monastery exactly five years from today. Like a class reunion? You will come, won't you? Years ago, we fought here as classmates. As big class reunions go, this one's got to be the worst in history. What should we do, Teach? Kill every last one of them! It's done, Bacon's to flames. Still, we have no choice but to eliminate those who cling to unreasonable ideas of justice. Someone must put a stop to the cycle of the strong trampling the weak. So the fell star consumes even the darkness itself. Yet we have the strength to scale the walls between us, to reach out our hands in friendship so we can open our true hearts to one another. That's how we win! My teacher. Both sides of time are revealed to you. What shall you do? Uh How lovely it would be for this moment to last forever. Cool, I like the in-game cutscenes anyway. It they are really cool. Um and the game itself does look fun. So this is Three Houses Cinder Shadows. Let's have a look at this. Is this like a, an expansion Back or then, DLC? There were or? Tons of rumors about what goes on below Garrig Mach. Something about tons of passages and houses beneath the town. All inhabited by super shady people. They had a real intimidating name, too. Uh, what was it again? I think it was called Abyss? Right, so what's this about?
Abyss is home to those who shun the light of day. It is the secret shadow of Garrick Mach. They think they need a place like this for Garrick Mach to thrive. Yeah, fine. We're the Ashen Wolves. We're the secret fourth house in this. The surface world turned its back on us, and we did the same in return. The Ashen Wolves are a house in name alone. They are eager students with no teacher to guide them. If you could find it in your heart to take them under your wing, I would be most grateful. Prepare to face the almighty King of Bradley. No matter what we do, we're all just gonna die in the end anyway. Yeah. Tremble in fear at my magical might. <laughs> we're a unique bunch from all walks of life. Once you get to know us, I'm sure you'll love it. Don't worry, no one will die. We'll get everyone else safe. Yeah. That's cool. I love that you just run into him. Oh, it's an expansion pass. Side stories, cindered shadows. Okay. So it seems the Fire Emblem franchise consists of multiple different stories, which I don't think are directly linked to each other. Um... Obviously, there's going to be similarities with the, the worlds and the people and the characters, but nothing of real significance with each other. That's why he has these all in different categories, which is quite interesting. That Those were actually really cool and interesting trailers for the game. Um, whether or not I'll be playing them, I don't know. Like, lads, if you really want to see it, I'm sure I'll give it a go. Um, would know where to start. Probably it'd be okay to play, like, Fire Emblem Three Houses instead of actually going back and playing the older ones. Who knows? Um, but now we do have a spin-offs and crossover trailer list. This does consist of Smash Bros and Shin Megami Tensei. Um, so let's have a look. Let's have a look at some of these. I know I've probably have seen some of these. So this is Smash Bros for the 3DS. Lucina. Oh my god, no way. <laughs> Alright. I've never I don't think I've seen this one. Because this one is for the 3DS and the Wii U. Robin brings a thunder. Robin! Smash has many powerful foes, Lucina. But I am no ordinary swordsman. Thunder! Elf Thunder! Arc Thunder! And Thoron! Arc Fire! Elwin! Nosferatu! Nosferatu! Wow. You have so many tones. I can only use them so many times, which is why I carry my Levin sword. This is no time for me to rest. I'll fight at your side. So this is the addition of two characters from Fire Emblem into the Smash Bros. universe. Is that the Hero King himself? And the Radiant Hero of Legend, worthy of. Oh yeah, from indeed. other Fire Emblem games. Super Smash Bros. on the 3DS and Wii U. I suppose I'll get my chance another day. Oh, maybe that was hinting towards. Oh, never mind. No, you'll get it today. Time to tip the scales. Oh, and female Robin too. That's pretty cool. Alright, so now we have Super Smash Bros. 
Um, Fire Emblem, the Blinding Blade Roy trailer. Let's have a quick look at this. Those are the characters that were added into it already. Roy seals the deal. Whoa, Roy seems like a cool character to use. Whoa, look at all the colors. I like how they're doing his trailer. Pretty badass, not gonna lie. Pretty badass. I like that. Alright, so now we have Fire Emblem Fates Corrin trailer. Corrin chooses to smash. It's almost a dead giveaway with the Smash logo on the flames. That's a Fire Emblem character. Big brother? Onichan? Ah. So it's almost a remake of that other trailer, or a, sni a snippet from that trailer. I'm so sorry, everyone. I feel like I have no choice but to. Oh look, fight with Noir. Defend Hoshido. Oh. Join or join the battle in Smash. <laughs> I mean, fair enough. I mean, he didn't want to choose, so he just jumped into a different video game franchise altogether. How could you? You're giving up on us and battling completely unknown opponents. They look tough. Oh, look at Cloud. Is that Ganondorf? The Auto Blade is taking on a form I've never seen. Oh, that looks painful. He's using Dragon Fang. The power of the first dragon. Oh. He's really mastered it, hasn't he? What did you expect? Are those warriors of the Outrealms? Not to worry. Oh, okay. Even better. You can pick which gender you want. Whoa. I've decided. My path is to take on the legendary. Here's the final smash. Cool. That's cool. I like that. The smash trailers are always really good, though. They really are. Now, oh, Super Smash Bros. Fire Emblem Awakening Crom trailer. A lot of Fire Emblem characters been introduced to Smash here. Oh wait a minute, this guy. I suppose I'll get my chance. But they already said that they added him in, didn't they? There he is. There he is.
Cool. Cool, another Fire Emblem character added to Smash. Alright, so now we're on the Shin Megami Tensei um, crossover trailers. No idea what's going on here. Mirage Master to stay cut those river, Degakari got Scamilka Mosheda. So come at the And just to be clear, I've never played any of the Shin Megami games, so I'm not entirely sure what I'm looking at here. Looks cool though. All right, Tokyo Mirage Sessions. All right, that's nothing to do with Shin Megami Tensei. But is it Shen Megami Tensei X Fire Emblem? Or are there just the characters from it? I don't know. That other trailer didn't have a whole lot on it, so we skipped that one. We have Fire Emblem X Dynasty Warriors. Let's have a look at this one. Fire Emblem Warriors. The battles we've fought together have formed a bond stronger than steel. This fighting will be ended through our combined strength. You are no match for us. Come on, then. Know that Frederick will hold the line. For now, I do my best. Together, all of us shall win. Can you stand? Big brother. Together, we can do anything. Should we head out? Our world's counting on us. Let's go together. Now one last obstacle remains. You're sorely mistaken. Oh, Mother Earth! My, but you've been naughty. Whoa. Right My you. god. Swarms and swarms of enemies. So a ton of Fire Emblem characters thrown into a Warriors game. I mean, yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm sure if you are a Fire Emblem fan and you're also a Dynasty Warriors fan, that would be pretty cool to experience. So there it is, lads. That is um, every single Fire Emblem trailer. As you can see, Fire Emblem isn't the franchise that is fully easy to understand because there's multiple different stories and there's multiple different games. Naturally, 
you know, these things, they get lost with time and people just forget about, like, original stories and original characters and stuff. But if you have been a fan since day one of Fire Emblem, I can only imagine your knowledge of the characters, the franchise, and the overall world. Um, it seems that there is different stories that have different protagonists and antagonists in them. The game itself is basically turn-based strategy, stra strategy kind of game, uh, which is pretty cool. I do like that, and I think that's a game that I definitely like to play. But I don't know if it's a game that I would play on the channel. It seems to be a game that will have a lot of, you know, thinking and coordinating and strategizing and all that stuff. And, and I, like, honestly, that is a game that I like to play. But it's definitely a game that I like to play in my spare time when I'm relaxing and I have time to just kind of kick back and enjoy it. It isn't really a game that you can do too much commentary on or stream on. But, I mean, by all means, lads, if you do want me to check out the game, I could do maybe one or two videos on it just to give you guys my first impressions of the game. I'd be up for doing that, so make sure you do absolutely demolish the like button to see that. But overall, pretty impressed with what I've seen, like what I've seen, and I look forward to seeing what else the Fire Emblem franchise has to offer. Like I said, there's loads of different characters in there. All of them have their own respected stories. And if you guys have been fans of Fire Emblem, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I know I didn't show too much enthusiasm to the game because most of the time I was kind of confused I wanted to understand the story but there seems to be multiple different stories so there wasn't there wasn't too much there for me to concentrate on but overall what I've seen I quite liked and I am interested in checking out the game so you guys let me know what you want to see on the channel that's entirely up to you this was a request from someone and I wanted to fulfill that quest and I did so today so I hope you enjoyed man I hope you enjoyed anyway lads that is my reactions to the Fire Emblem trailers. I hope you enjoyed them. Smash your like if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And that ends it here. And as always, dudes, stay geeky, stay cool, be awesome, and be happy. And I'll see you dudes in my next video. See you later, dudes.